Hey guys, another beautiful bright morning, blue skies, sun shining, boy it's a great day. Um, I want to just kind of give this really quick video to you guys and the reason is because it, what kind of, of, of motivated me to do this was I noticed on, on, a, on one garden website there was a big discussion about people talking about the definition of, of soil and compost and people thought that a lot of others were being too tweaky about definitions and stuff but in my opinion I don't think people are too tweaky I think we need to define terms very carefully because words mean things and so I, I started noticing it after this conversation I started noticing uh, on a lot of people's YouTube channels gardening channels they, they they did define things a lot differently than what is really in reality for instance there's this one guy that has a good sized gardening channel and he keeps talking about his raised beds and he says you know and I put the soil in here from my compost and, okay well you can't put soil in a raised bed from a compost and I'm gonna explain basically in, in really short terms the difference between compost and soil so basically compost I think we all know what that is it's stuff that would basically go in your compost it would be grass clippings it'd be kitchen scraps uh, any kind of wood products that you would break down that would break down quickly you would run them through a chipper or something like that so any any kind of wood chips things like that leaves and any kind of paper products you want to put in so all that decomposed matter all breaks down into what we call compost and it it can be very you know mineral rich you can look at it and it looks like people say well that's that's soil that's dirt well I don't want to get into the definition of dirt because <laughs> we're going off on a tangent to me dirt is just anything is dirty I don't I don't define dirt but uh, yeah soil or, or compost would be anything that has been decomposed from organic matter so take a look at one of my raised beds here basically everything in here used to be living it was it was wood products grass clippings and all the stuff from my house you know the from the kitchen scraps and stuff like that so that's all been decomposed broken down into what we call compost so conversely soil is what we call the covering of the earth it's basically got minerals and rock and clay and sand and yes decomposed matter it, it, it's stuff that falls onto the ground decomposes and it turns back into compost which goes back into the soil and that's what feeds the soil so there's a lot of other things going on inside of soil though that you don't get into a raised bed you've got this, the food web and you've got microbial activity and 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 yeah you can have you can have some of that within a raised bed with compost but you you've got so much activity and so much happening under there you've got gases and I mean you could go on forever about everything that's going on within within soil and of course what you would call topsoil would be the top layer the first few inches so I just wanted to kind of set that record straight because there's been a lot of confusion I think a lot of people don't get the terms right when it comes to that so I may be being anal and 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 I hope I'm not being that way because I don't I don't like to be but I just want to kind of define terms the way that they, they really should be. You don't typically put, I guess there's some people that do put soil in their raised beds because that's all they got. They don't have any organic matter. They don't have compost. So yeah, you can fill your raised beds with, with, with soil, but you're digging up the soil out of the earth and putting it into the bed. Okay, so then, then now you're probably going to ask me, what do I think is better for growing vegetables? Well, I don't think there is a better because what happens within soil you do have that decomposed matter and there's a lot of minerals and whatnot in there but the plants still have to it's still got to be readily available for the plants to take up that's why in raised beds when you use compost it's all been broken down and it's readily available the plants can take it up quickly so I don't necessarily think there's anything better you have challenges when you grow in soil because your soil could be too sandy it could be too much clay it could be too rocky you know, things like that so you have more flexibility when it comes to to growing stuff in compost in a raised bed. Now I know I'm going to get a lot of heat for this. I know there's going to be a lot of people that are going to fire off comments Im immediately, and it's okay. <laughs> it's all right. But basically, that's the difference between the two: is that soil and compost are completely different things. And so you won't you sh you won't find people amending compost with soil they don't take soil and amend their compost you'll see people that are taking compost and amending their soil now 
how do you amend soil with compost? Now a lot of people will rototill. You guys all know what I feel about rototilling. I think it's, I think it's evil. Rototilling is because it destroys the whole food web, and you're 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 breaking up everything that's been working for eons, and you're just completely destroying it. Just because you think you're going to be putting minerals into the soil, and um, that's not how it works. It doesn't work that way. Uh, basically, if you want to amend your soil with compost, you just take the take the, the the compost, lay it on top of the soil, and then just walk away. Don't do anything with it. Don't till it in. You don't have to mix it. You know, I think we. We, I think we think of, of, of gardening and when it comes to soil or compost that we somehow have to make it look like a cake. We got to mix it all together before we can bake it. That's, that's, just, that's not how it works. See, the, the rain and when you water will, will create a compost tea and it will seep down into that soil and all that material, all that mineral rich tea will go in and it will feed that soil. So. That's how you amend soil with compost. So, anyways, I just want to, I know, I, I said it was going to be a quick video, but nothing's ever quick with me, is it? I get this rambling thing going on, but anyways. Anyways, I wanted to just throw that out there for you guys because I see it a lot, and, and, and I wanted to kind of clarify my position on it. I know a lot of people have other thoughts, and that's, that's cool, too. So, anyways, for what it's worth, there it is. So... All right, well, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll catch you all later.